stream, I resemble Bam Bam or Pebbles from Flintstones. That's only because my hair is really wacky today. Also, we're going to talk about silver. We're going to talk about Johnny Bravo. We're going to talk about water. Look at this. Look at this. The lake is full. The lake is full. We're in California. The drought is over. It's actually not, but you know what's funny about that? Is that people are going to think the drought's over. They're just going to be going to running around, you know, with their hose in the air, just, you know, running down the street saying, proclaiming it's over. But what's funny, these cycles, these little cycles inside of big cycles are so much more than most people understand. And we're going to talk about that in silver. Again, um, just talk to my buddy, Johnny Bravo, actually good friend of mine, Johnny Bravo. If you haven't checked him out, you need to go check him out. And I only say that because he has taught me so many things about technical analysis. Um, if you want to learn technical analysis, I'll put a link below to his course on that. It's amazing. But we're going to talk specifically about silver because Johnny Bravo has gotten bullish on silver. And I'm going to share with you a story out of CNBC. And, and remember what I tell you that when it hits the mainstream, it's too late, right? The moves are already going to be made. And I've told you that I believe that in 2023, wait a minute, hold on. I got to do something real quick here. We're going to do it live because we're waiting for people to get on. But I've said this before that in 2023, I believe that you are going to see silver go crush it. I mean, we are going to see gold and silver make moves. I've been telling you about a couple of companies that I uh, invested in and I told you about them. And you guys are up, what, like outcrop silver. I think most of you guys are up like 40, 50% since just we talked about it, right? And these moves are pretty darn impressive. But the point is, is that people need to get to the point where they start to have the, let's say, faith comes by hearing, right? You have to have the confidence that something's going to happen. But how do you have that confidence? Well, most human beings start to understand things, changing in the sea tides, and they start to move into an investment because they hear about it a lot, right? Well, now it's in the mainstream press, right? And this is the one thing the big boys don't want you understanding or under wanting to be involved in, and that's monetary metals like gold and silver because they understand that that is the opposite of the US dollar, right? It's totally opposite. All right, I can't get it working. Oh well, we're just not gonna put, put that part in. So let's dive into the story right here. Now, I told you Johnny Bravo's uh, positive on or bullish on silver. He said that there is actually a move that's coming right now. Gotta mess with this Bam Bam here, it's bugging me. <laughs> that uh, we have not seen a setup that's possibly playing out right now and actually by the end of January that we have not seen in the last two years. And he said that he is, I just got off the phone with him, he is gonna make a special video today, a part in his video about silver, okay? And that's for you guys. So go and check that out. And then I'm gonna have him on next week and we're gonna talk about uh, like outcrop silver or we're gonna talk about some of the stocks that I've talked to you about that I have invested in and talk about some, some possible moves in those companies coming as well, all right? All right, this is out of CNBC, and it is entitled, I don't have the exact title because I cut it off. Oh, wait a minute. You may notice this. Oh, I gotta talk to you about this. So I don't know if you guys know what this is. So sometimes if you haven't been following this channel uh, around lately, there's nothing really fancy about me. And I, I might as well give you the disclaimer now. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial professional. I'm a dude with exceptionally weird hair, and I drink McDonald's coffee, which I don't have today because there's a lot going on. But today, normally, sometimes, sometimes I read my notes come from a pizza box that I recycle. But you'll notice something that this pizza box does not have stains. That's right. It is a limited edition, brand new. I could still smell the cardboard from Cardboardia that this thing was made in. And you'll notice this came from a subscriber. Thought that, hey, Ninja, why is everything backwards on your videos? Well, I'm like, well, because I'm backwards. I'm literally the opposite of normal so I, I but but they they made something special they wrote this out backwards just so you guys know what's going on so I want to thank them for making this for me they also got some amazing accessories some high-end accessories for my new ride uh, I haven't had that out lately because of the rain and I don't I didn't buy the model with a uh, posi traction so we'll we'll bring that back in a little bit and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about don't worry about it as a matter of fact if you don't like a dude with weird hair and cardboard for notes, this is definitely not the channel for you. So let's dive in to the CNBC article. Uh, it says silver prices could hit a nine year high in 2023, outpacing gold. And that is what I've been explaining. That is what I've been talking to you guys about and getting you guys ready for, right? 
As a matter of fact, um, after this is done, I'll put in the comment section a company that I've uh, bought from, bought physical silver from, that uh, has done great by me, for me. And uh, I'll put that down below if you wanna use them, if you're new to this and you don't know where, who to trust or where to buy an ounce of silver, if that's what you want. But again, not financial advice. It says right here, prices of silver could hit a nine year high of $30 per ounce this year, possibly outpacing gold prices. And a lot of people go, Ninja, come on. Silver has been 49 bucks. Who cares about $30? Well, I'll tell you why you're gonna care. Um, to be honest with you, I think we're gonna go past 30, but uh, when we're talking about uh, mining equities, the proper ones, the right ones, we're talking about the ones with actual legit silver in the ground, proven by um, uh, third party assays, th uh, proven with the drilling results, and these companies are out there literally going and identifying large finds. We're talking large discoveries, you watch what happens when silver hits $30 with these asset prices. That's what I like. That's what I'm involved with. What? And ducks are going crazy behind me. They're getting excited about silver too. It says right here, insufficient supplies of silver as well as its tendency to be a better performer than gold in periods of high inflation are key drivers supporting the outlook, analysts told CNBC. The last time pot spot silver, pot silver, the last time spot silver touched $30 levels per ounce was in February of 2013, according to closing price data from Renfinitiv. Silver has historically delivered gains to close to 20% per annum in years inflation is high. Given that track record and how cheap silver remains relative to gold, it wouldn't surprise to see silver head towards $30 per ounce this year though that will likely offer significant resistance, said Janie Simpson, CEO of ABC Bullion. Spot prices notched a record high of $49.45 in 1980 against the backdrop of a 13.5% inflation rate, up from around $4 in 1976 when the inflation rate was cooler at five point. I get it. He Oh man, that duck, oh, he's just, he's just trying to call the lady ducks right now. All right, you know what, copy, I get it, I see the game. Don't hate the player, hate the game, right? All right, cool, you just keep doing your thing, duck. Let me ask you this, 5.7% inflation in 1976, my birth year, I've just aged myself, against the backdrop of a 13.5% inflation rate in 1980. Let me ask you this, because government's good at one thing and that's lying to you. What do you think, what is your best guess that infl the inflation rate is at right now on a percentage level? I wanna hear your guys' comments. I love to hear your rants, because I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't believe the government. You know that whole, we're from the government, we're here to help? <laughs> yeah, literally the furthest thing from the truth. So. If, in, if silver hit those prices back then, when inflation was at 13%, and a lot of us, at least I believe, that we are past 13%, right? I mean, if you haven't gone and checked the price of eggs, you know, somebody warned everyone about that. Um, you know, if you haven't seen the price of eggs, I feel like Tony Montoya, what is it? Uh, with, with all those eggs in front of me, like on my desk, instead of a pile of cocaine, I go say hello to my expensive friends. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought we'd be paying this much for eggs? Anyway, I think that we're going to see much higher prices in silver this year, right? But silver always lags. People need to understand that. It takes some time. I'm seeing some pretty solid numbers here. 18, 18, 35%. Man, oh gosh, I think it's going to get even nuttier. Now it says right here, uh, the precious metal last traded at 24 point, uh, two cents per ounce against the backdrop of an inflation rate of 6.5. Oh guys, that's the official number. Do you guys agree with the official government numbers? That's the question, 6.5%. <laughs> so if you think about it, 6.5% is just a little bit above the uh, official inflation rate in 1976, uh, my birth year. And that was when silver was $4. So right now silver is around 24 bucks and the official, the official number is very close. So where can we see silver prices if the official number gets to 13.5%? <laughs> I know we're past it, but think about that. It'd be huge. Now, it also talks about silver shortage. Silver is in a shortage, and there is a notable drawdown in the available physical stocks held in New York and London's physical hubs, more so than seen in gold, said Nikki Shields, head of metal strategy at precious metals company K. 
uh, MKS PAMP. Shields added that silver is expected to post deficits of more than 100 million ounces over the next five years with industrial demand spurring the tight supply. The largest segment of silver demand in, is industrial, which equates to almost 50% of total demand, she said, calling for the base case of silver prices to climb to $28 with a bullish case of $30 or more. That demand is expected to grow more than 15% over the next five years, he said. He? Nikki. Nikki's a he. All right. It's cool. 21st century. I'm just joking. Hey, just so you know, a little, little tidbit, you know, uh, my birth name is Travis, but it was actually supposed to be Trampus. I know, crazy. My mother told me that. She goes, your father wanted to name you Trampus. And I fought and I fought and I go, mom, I am so glad you won that argument. Trampus. I guess, I guess he was like a, 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 a cool cowboy back in the day in TV. I don't know who it was. Let me know down in the comment section, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm glad my uh, dad didn't win that argument. <laughs> Hi, dad. <laughs> I bet he's watching right now. All right. Um, it says right here, uh, yeah, totally lost my train of thought after that one. <laughs> good, thing, <laughs> good thing I know what I'm reading. It says here, no silver lining for silver supplies. We hit peak silver back about five or six years ago. Ooh, let's talk about that too. Silver production on a worldwide basis has actually been dropping and we're not seeing as much silver produced from the mines, said Randy Smallwood, president of Wheaton Precious Metals. According to the trade group, the Silver Institute, the supply of silver from mine production in 2022 was 843 million ounces, which was still shy of the decade's peak of 900 million ounces in 2016. And 2016 was an interesting year because I believe, I want to say it went, uh, it was a Halloween night of 2016 that we actually went from a net producer of silver worldwide to a net user. And what that essentially means is that we were, it was literally Halloween night. I remember like it was yesterday and I'm pretty sure it was 2016. Um, the world started to consume more silver. Again, another, this is two in a row. All right, I get it. Got to do your thing, ducks. We started using more silver than we were producing. And it's funny because when we're talking about peak silver, there's so many people. Let's talk about peak eggs. I talked about eggs and a shortage that was coming because of all the culling of all the chickens this last year from bird flu. And I said, prices are going to go up. And people, are, they, they would say really smart things. When I say smart, I meant dumb. They would say things like, well, there's eggs in my store. And I go, a uh, uh, shortage. It's a shortage. It's not an outage. It's not missing eggs. Uh, there's still chickens crapping out eggs, but I didn't say it wasn't going to be in your store. I said there was going to be less of them available. And under the normal supply and demand, you know, economics 101, I took that in high school. Um, <laughs> I did do some school, not very well, but it would show you that the price will rise. Well, now we're at that point. All the chickens are killed. The eggs that were in storage that were in the middle of being transported the last uh, handful of months made their way through the supply chain. Now we see more expensive eggs. And it's not because the chickens got fancier and are now crapping out gold eggs, even though the price of an egg is literally getting to the price of gold almost. It is because of supply and demand. Now, peak silver, we passed it. We are now not producing enough silver to keep up with the demand to build electronic vehicles, electronics, your cell phone. Can't make it, literally cannot make it without silver. But I'm gonna tell you honestly, I did a video about this, I don't know, two years ago, uh, about what the change in price of a cell phone would be if silver went to literally $1,000. And it added like literally four, three, three, it was nothing. It was, it was a thousand bucks an ounce. The, the added cost for a, a cell phone was like, I don't know, 45, 50 bucks total uh, for them to make that, the added amount, right? But the fact is they don't care about thousand dollar silver and then it costs that much more for the phone. Why? Because you're not gonna care because you're gonna pay easy another 100, 200 bucks because hey, this phone's got a new camera on it, a new app. This thing can, you know, uh, take over my life and, and record me everywhere I go. Weird. So point being is this, we're in a silver uh, shortage now. We are literally producing less. That's why I'm investing in this. I like to do things before the mainstream, but the problem is now the mainstream's out. They're talking about higher silver prices on CNBC today. Now, does it mean the price of silver is going to go skyrocketing tomorrow? No, it doesn't. I don't want to hear anyone whining, Ninja, you said silver is going to explode tomorrow. Yeah, you need to go back and get your hearing checked. And it's probably just because the Q-tip's still in there. It's actually supposed to come out 
after you insert it and twist. Now, here's another thing. Remember, I want to remind you guys, go over to Johnny Bravo's um, uh, channel today, and yes, I get it, his hair is, is a weird. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know what's, oh, that dude's hair. Defies gravity. But he's gonna put that special segment and he's gonna chart something about silver and a setup that's that has not been coming for two years. Guys, I've learned a lot from Johnny. Honestly, like professionally and as on the friendship level. And he's a great asset to have on YouTube. I can't say enough good things about him. Is he even in the comment section? Say something weird, Johnny. Oh, Jack's here. Jack, I, I'm glad we have Jack here because I don't wanna be missing a Jack during this live stream. And uh, go and check out Jack too. Jack is nobody special, but he's special in my heart, all right? I can't see all your comments right now, but I wanna thank you guys. There is a mad rush of young little humans coming towards us. It's probably gonna get loud right now, so I'm gonna have to let you guys go, all right? So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Go check out Johnny Bravo's class, or not class. Oh, I'll put the link to that class. I'll also put a link to a, a place if you guys wanna buy your first silver ounce. It is literally a spiritual awakening, a spiritual moment. I'm not kidding. If you don't understand that, it's okay. All right, guys, that being said, the Economic Ninja is out. How do I turn this thing off? Oh, man, I've got to do something. See you, Neil. Hashtag silver.